thousand pound airplane as they had it there, and that was 200 feet on wet grass. That was ridiculous. <laughs> you saw when he hit beta and then oh, reverse. Did you see that yeah. thing? It was like that, that was like 150 feet. <laughs> All right, so here's the scoop. We went from Twin Falls, Idaho, all the way across to uh, Madison, Wisconsin, and we're at the Rock and the Ramp fly-in party. I don't even know what to call this, but this guy is the star of the show. This is a, a Wilga. I guess this guy, Mike Patey, just finished this project. It's got a freaking turbo prop in it, and the thing takes off in like 100 feet and lands in like 100 feet. Tonight, we're picking up Jacqueline. I haven't seen her in like a month, so we're gonna uh, pick her up in a couple hours when she flies in, and then it will be Oshkosh, full on. That is absurd. <laughs> I've never seen a plane do that. What the hell? Dude, <laughs> I saw that on video, I'd say it was Gonna try to take advantage of these street lights for lighting, but uh, the party's over, and I am five minutes out from Madison Airport picking Jacqueline up. Haven't seen her in like a month. It's a pretty big deal. We're gonna pick her up and then head back to Richland Center. I didn't mention, but the Martins are having like a mini fly-in there. So we'll see how the weather pans out for tomorrow, but we might get to fly. There she is. You made it. Welcome to a desperate morning flying session. Not enjoying it right now. That was a little McGnarly. I think that was one of the first legitimate collapses I've taken on this wing. <laughs> Bueno, it was super thrashy climbing out. I've gotten a little bit smoother air up here, but this is not very friendly. I brought a Red Bull up in my pocket, and if it says something, I'm not even gonna worry about drinking it. I think I'm just gonna come down, drink it safely on two feet. Wow, this is gnarly.
That was not good at all. <laughs> was that like a third of the free ride? Yeah. That was pretty major. Yeah. Post-flight debrief. First off, moral of the story, we probably shouldn't have been flying, but there wasn't really any real good indication that it was super turbulent. It's early morning. The wind was kind of blowing a lot for the morning, but normally in the morning, if it's blowing hard, it's it tends to be more laminar than when it's windy in the afternoon. But a couple guys went up. I looked at their wings. It didn't look bad. They were getting bumped. Are you okay? They were getting bumped, but it wasn't gnarly. And um, I think what happened was it started to get worse and worse because the guys that were up early said it wasn't bad. It was manageable. And then by the time I got up, it was transitioning to really bad and gnarly. My whole climb out was just sketchy. It was hard to like gain altitude because I was getting lifted and sunk and it was just weird then I turned downwind and I'm just cruising and that collapse happened instantaneously like it wasn't like a pitch back jump forward collapse like classic situation I looked at the video a little bit and it's a bummer you can't actually see the wing but you can see the lines go slack and I was holding a decent bit of brake um, to be ready for a collapse and I think that's what kind of helped because the wing came in instantaneously and immediately came back out. It was like a fraction of a second. Um, but Ethan was above me. He said he thought it was about a third. That I think was the first legitimate collapse I've had on the free ride. And I know I've flown the free ride in some gnarly conditions and I've always kind of known that it would take a lot to collapse this wing. And I guess this was that threshold barrier I guess I can say I'm happy that it happened and it came out super fast. It, I didn't change heading, I didn't um, lose any altitude, nothing happened. It just came in and out, like ridiculously fast. So yeah, I set up, landed, and my landing, I don't know if you could tell, I kept the power on. Um, I didn't kill my motor until I was like on the ground because in a situation like this, when it's really bumpy, it's nice to have that power to hit it at the last second, just in case. And that's exactly what happened. Good lesson, if it's bumpy, don't kill your motor, because I like normally kill my motor, but it's normally smooth. But when it's really bad like this, keep your motor on, because it could save you at the last minute to give a, a burst of power. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap this video up here. Or should I, should I continue to Oshkosh? Okay, we'll continue to Oshkosh. If you guys don't know, Oshkosh is like the world's biggest air show. That's our next adventure. We're going there this afternoon, and then the real air show starts tomorrow, and it goes on for like a week. I think I'm gonna try to like daily vlog every day and get them up as soon as I can. We're super, super busy at Oshkosh like all day long, so I probably won't be able to get them up the day after, but there's going to be a lot going on. You guys that have been around since last year know that Oshkosh is crazy amazing. We're flying with the Paradigm team on the main stage Wednesday and Saturday, and then the ultralight field all the other days. So we're going to pack up and head on over to Oshkosh eventually at some point today. And then tomorrow will be the first official Oshkosh vlog. Oh, Jacqueline, how does it feel to be reunited? It's nice. Jackson, Jacqueline's extremely excited to be reunited. Oh. Shout out to BP for the 91 octane non-ethanol. Not that I run non-ethanol ever, but 
it's nice to have. I guess I'll forgive them for that oil spill. Who hasn't had an oil spill these days? We're en route to Oshkosh. We're about 20 minutes away. Um, the goal for today is just to set up our camping. The real air show starts tomorrow. And we're gonna start the morning with like a, a flying air to air photo shoot. So once we get there, the deal is we're just gonna find camping. Park the old van mobile. Last year we were in a tent. This year we upgraded to the van mobile. These are the first steps of EA Air Venture. 2018, we just arrived, secured our parking, and uh, yeah, this is it. This is the world's biggest air show, the world's busiest control tower. Right meow, everyone's arriving. Not a whole lot going on today yet, but we're gonna go over to the booth, the pare down booth, say what's up. Jacqueline, are you excited? Yes. What's your favorite part about Oshkosh? Planes. Um, oh, I mean power motors. Oh yeah, I thought it was the funnel cake though. Oh, well they don't have it here. It's uh, only at Sun and okay. Fun. Yeah. They have ice cream cookie sandwiches though, and that's my favorite Look at part. Look the dog. That's my favorite part. <laughs> Today we uh, grilled some bratwurst, had dinner. Day zero of Oshkosh is complete. Um, tomorrow will be officially day one, so look forward to a whole week of air show shenanigans. Um, tomorrow morning we're doing like a photo shoot super early, so I'm gonna go to bed early and wake up early and do some flying. But lesson for the day, don't fly in sketchy conditions. Watch out for that turbulence. It'll, uh, it'll get you. I will see you guys in the next one. If you're not subscribed, subscribe and drop a like. And uh, I'll see you guys. Till the next one, peace out. Jacqueline? J Jacqueline?